he's, um, I couldn't understand his excitement last week when he uh, came off the field against Samoa and then he promptly told me it was the first World Cup game that he's been able to finish. So, uh, uh, he's, uh, he's pretty excited. Uh, I could see it in his enthusiasm this week and um, you know, it's, the, un the unfortunate, unfortunate thing about rugby is, uh, you know, coming back from his injury last week uh, and getting a, a chance again you know, to play again and then you know, the, the circumstances with, with Franz Steyn moving out. It's another chance for him to sort of link up with Jacques again and, and become the most experienced centre player. So it's it's just amazing how life works, and, and I'm pretty sure he'll take hold of that opportunity. I think one of our successes throughout the four years is that we 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 do our job properly. We study study our opposition, we know what they can offer, but we focus on what we want to do. And and if you if you've been influenced by what other people do, you don't make your own decisions. So you can't be your own man then in life. And, and, and that's something to say about your character. So I know what I want to achieve out of this game with my team. The team know what we want to achieve because we had long discussions around that. And for me, um, to play games with my players, I think it's not on. Um, I'd rather be honest and open with them. I put the team out there. They understand what the job is. And we'll go out there and try to, to achieve what we can achieve. And the previous two too. So it's four in a row. So um, that makes them pretty much the favourites for this for this for this team uh, for this game. Sorry, they they are at this moment the Tri Nations champions. If we can can play games within games and have a little small tournament within a tournament, look at it that way. So for us, we know that they are very dangerous, dangerous rugby team. Um, they 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 were for for nine ten months number two on the world ranking, and not because of, of anything else, but because of the way they play the game. Uh, confrontational in their forwards. They want to be very much and, and they, they get it right um, for most of the game. They never, never give up. And then the exciting backs, you know, if you give them a sniff, if you give them space, if you give them the ball, they will run you and, and, and tear you to pieces. We all we know that. So the, the, it's, it's hard to sit down and analyze a team like Australia and try to find a weak spot. Are we hoping to hit some top gear as well at some stage? So hopefully we can hit it together. And I feel like a little bit more higher than that. John did all. It was part of our preparation in terms of that, but we didn't get caught up with, with how they lost that game. We sort of really had to get caught up with, with what, what our objectives needed to be on Sunday. Mine will be made up at what I want <coughs> at the moment. Um, you heard the first question about JP. And that is exactly what we, we, we were sitting with. We, we, we had three wingers left the field, basically, with JP just, just managed to. to to carry on, but you know, if, if in, a, in, a, in a perfect world, we would have taken him off because he couldn't go on. Um, three wingers in one game, I mean, things like that happened to the South Africans. Three locks in, in one game, the first the first one, three wingers in a, in a game like last week. So um, it's only sensible um, to have them on the, tier, on the field again because you know what they can offer. 